All right, guys, what's going on? This is Cross, and we're back again. Uh, I guess this can really be considered part two of my class setup series, and I guess we could take it to one more uh, with Call of Duty 4. If you would be interested, let me know in the comments. But we're on Black Ops, and I haven't touched this game since I made that montage uh, with Darth 9, uh, the system. I was, that was a pre-patch montage, and after they started patching the snipers again, fixing them more and more, I just had no interest in playing it. Um, it was a lot of bullshit that Treyarch uh, kind of did to the sniper rifle, and then they went back and tried to fix it, and I just didn't want to waste my time with their game anymore. I do get on rarely um, when they have like a Nuketown 24-hour match, which is kind of fun. You guys might actually enjoy that. It's kind of fun to snipe there with a PSG or something like that. But we're going to go into the class setup here. And as you can see, I only have six classes. I didn't prestige very much. I think I prestige one time. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite guns in the game. It's an AK-47. I use Ghost, Sleight of Hand, and Ninja. Um, I don't really know why people hate on Ghost so much. Uh, it's so much bullshit, you can't figure out where they are, they don't show up on radar, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. I, I don't have a problem with it. I, you know, it's like, just play smart and play defensively, and you can do just as well. Um, sometimes it does suck, though, when you call in a UAV, and there's like, one red dot, you know, that does get kind of annoying, but then I just don't use UAVs anymore. So, I have the AK-47 Iron Sight Extended Mag with uh, this pistol down here. I didn't really like the pistols in the game. I'll actually go to that because I kind of wanted to talk about them a little bit. The other, only other one I like is the Python, and you'll see me use that as well. I'm actually going to switch that out, but I like the Python. <sighs> Lethal, I use a frag or Semtex. It really doesn't matter. Tomahawks are fun, too. Usually Simtex 90% of the time. Otherwise, I switch them out with something else. Concussion grenades, stun grenades, whatnot. Um, claymores, those are always good. Now, Slide of Hand Pro I like having in this game. Reload time's a bitch. Um, Ninja, that just get, that's just a given. This is just a complete stealth class, other than without running with, around with the silencer. Um, it's something I enjoy quite well. Um, the FAMAS, this is... I haven't changed this class because I, I do remember that they patched it. They uh, fixed the FAMAS a little bit. I don't remember exactly what they did to it because I haven't played the game a lot, but someone did tell me that they did patch it. Um, this I used to play Demolition a lot in uh, Black Ops. It was just a really good game mode to get sniper clips of everyone running to the bomb or spawn trapping, doing your thing there. But that's why I'm running the tactical insertion all the time. Usually I would have a FAMAS extended mag or uh, if you really want... Um, I'll actually set it up here, is use the dual mag. You have twice as much ammo with the dual mag than you do with the just the extended mags. I completely forgot about that, but that's something to keep in mind. M1911s, those are really fun. Uh, they're awesome to use as a Kimbo because you can get some pretty decent feeds with them too. Lethal, Simtex, same thing. Le Simtex or Frag. Simtex usually work a little bit better. I just like them more. Uh, Tactical, Hardened Pro. FAMAS has a really good fire rate, especially if you're shooting through a wall, so that's why I have uh, Harden Pro on. Marathon and Flak Jacket are a must in Demolition. Um, not necessarily Marathon, but Flak Jacket. I can't live without that damn thing. Um, people just spamming nades, doing all their shit. Um, it kind of gets annoying. Now we get into the Sniper class. This is uh, kind of goes with my love with the Barrett 50 Cal back in Modern Warfare 2. PSG is a good rifle, but I feel it just handles. It feels like it's a little bit lighter. I don't know. It just has a weird feeling to it. Like, the recoil is not as much. It just It's just strange. It's kind of like shooting a BB gun. But this is a primarily one of the classes I would set up. It has Ghost. I do have another variation under it. It's pretty much the same setup. I have a Python, Tactical Insertion. The only difference of this class down here is Flak Jacket. Uh, I really love Flak Jacket with the amount of uh, grenades people are chucking in on Demolition you cannot live without it. It's just something you really want. You can use Ghost, but I wouldn't really recommend it a whole lot. Uh, second class, if you guys want to know about sniping in uh, Black Ops, I suppose I could do another tutorial just so I could go over and show you the small little details. Nothing in, nothing in depth. But you have the L96 with variable scope. Now, if you guys don't know about the variable scope, you zoom it in once, and then you can snipe with it that way. It is a little bit more accurate, and it's easier to snipe with. Um, I have met a few people that zoom in all the way, and I wouldn't really recommend it. It's just not my thing. On this, I have a different secondary. I'm using that pistol with the extended mags. I can actually fire really quickly. I have a really quick trigger finger. That's kind of why I enjoy using that one. Um, same 
perk set up. This one only has hardened on though. Um, I like having a class that I can wall bang with, and that would be this one here. And this is my standard montage class that I run around with every day of the week um, when I used to play Black Ops. It was the Flak Jacket Pro, Steady Aim, and Marathon. Steady Aim and Black Ops, you guys, um, if you don't use it, you're missing out. Uh, the Steady Aim in this game is almost perfect. Um, I think Grizz himself said it as well. Uh, as far as getting the no scoping down right, they did a great job at doing that. Um, as far as getting the sniper down, they did a terrible job at doing that part. No scoping, on the other hand, it's completely awesome and it works. Sometimes um, I'll switch to Warlord Pro or something like that. That way I just have two tomahawks, but really doesn't matter. Steady aim's a good thing, but it is nice to get a double tomahawk kill uh, and something like that. So, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was kind of a rant, but these are my Black Ops classes. There's not a whole lot. You know, there's a few different so, uh, assault rifles that I like to use. Probably I'll just go through those real quick uh, before I leave. But, let's see here. Mm, the Galley. I love that one. Aug. And the Commando is probably my all-time all favorite, other than the AK-47. They're both right up there. Um, if they didn't patch the Commando or did anything to it since release... I'd have to say it's probably one of my favorite guns. AK-47 is just a style thing that I like. Anyway, guys, um, I'll see you guys next time with another commentary, probably from the Road Commander series. Look forward to that. This is Cross, and I'm out.